hey everybody we are here at joe and pop sub shop and mama's chicken kitchen now we actually ate supper here thursday night when we arrived but uh as i mentioned in the video it was getting very close to closing time and we wanted to just go ahead and get inside and eat and not uh, take the time to do an intro so we actually drove back up here today to do the intro to this video so um this is actually filmed two days later but uh this is where uh we had supper the other night so we're going to take you in here and show you what we believe is some really good fried chicken. And um, it's here at Joe and Pop's sandwich, or Sub Shop and Mama's Chicken Kitchen. It's on the Parkway on 321, just east of Gatlinburg, across from Food City uh, Grocery Store. So uh, come on in and let's check it out. Shaughnessy is being attacked by bears. They're ferocious. They look ferocious. Yes. You fit right in there with them. Thanks. <laughs> Shaughnessy's the mom. Well, no, there's the mama bear, I guess. So, anyway, got these little bear displays out here in front of Joe and Pop's sub shop, and then down there, Mama's Chicken Kitchen on the end, just to kind of give you an idea of where it's at. It's right across, if you see Food City out there, pretty much across the street. Walking inside Mama's Chicken Kitchen. Also, this is Joe and Pop's sub uh, shop as well. I think that's what it is. Yep, Joe and Pop's sub shop. So we're getting here kind of late. We're some of the last ones here tonight. We got homemade onion straws, $9.99. This is the setup as you come in. And we're just getting into town tonight, so. Um, they actually are going to close in about 15 minutes, so hopefully the food's still fresh. We'll see. A little bit of the inside of the restaurant here. There's still a few customers, even though it is it's before 9 o'clock. And they actually do have a pet friendly outside seating area. It looks like it's blocked off now, but here's a little area. They got, looks like, a lot of good selections of sauces here. A lot of different varieties of hot sauce. And here's the drink area. Um, several selections of water there. Is that one of those freestyles? Hey, is that a freestyle there? Um, That's different than any I've ever seen. Oh, it's a Pepsi one. Oh, okay. And I hear mix it up with flavor shots. Right. So they gonna bring it to us? No, he blocked that off. We gotta sit over here somewhere. Well, I don't know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go over the menu really quick here. I'll try to make this fast because I know they're wanting to close. I didn't know they had hot dogs, but apparently they do. But I am here for the chicken. They've got some really good chicken here. Now this is the same chicken recipe as Mama's Farmhouse Restaurant in Pigeon Forge. Uh, this is a little bit smaller outfit, but it's the same owners. And uh, it's in the Johnson Family Restaurant. And they do use the same recipe here for their fried chicken as they do over at Mama's. So it's usually really good. I don't know if it's gonna be quite as fresh this late at night, to be honest with you. I'm gonna give them a little leeway on that. Because we are getting here right at closing time, so it may have sat for a while. And here's my meal, three-piece chicken. It's a breast, a thigh, and a leg. And it looks like mashed potatoes and gravy, coleslaw, and a biscuit. And what did you get, Shawnsey? Chicken and dumplings, macaroni and cheese, mashed potatoes and gravy, and biscuit. Right. It looks like peach preserves. Oh, those peach preserves are good. So we're going to dig in. We'll let you know how it is, because we're starved. So stay tuned. All right, folks, we just had our supper at... Um, 
mama's chicken kitchen and uh, we wanted to give you a review of that i realized this is a kind of a very short review and kind of hurried that's uh, the reason for that is we got there very late tonight about uh, 15 minutes before closing time we hated to do that to them uh, but in fact there was a couple of people that came in after us as well so we weren't the last but we were among the last they actually had already closed off most of the restaurant um, and they had to open it back up uh, to provide more tables because all the tables were taken so uh, we did get there late we were just really trying to be considerate of the fact they wanted to go home that's why i didn't record a lot in there uh, so we do want to give our review and our thoughts of the place though so Sean, see why don't you go first tell what you had and again this is mama's chicken kitchen out on 321 uh, just across from food city in gatlinburg uh, it's also owned by the same people that own Mama's Farmhouse Restaurant in Pigeon Forge. So, uh, all right, go ahead. So, I got the chicken and dumplings. Um, I have eaten them there before, at, but they were just a side. They now have them as a meal. So, I got that macaroni and cheese and mashed potatoes and gravy. And it comes with a roll. Um, then you biscuit. get biscuit, yes. Um, and then you get either peach or strawberry um, preserves. Um, chicken and dumplings, they were very good. They were just they had a really good homemade taste to them, so they were very tasty. Um, mashed potatoes and gravy, they give you a pretty good sized portion on that. I wasn't really crazy about them. Um, they were good, but I just, I didn't really care for them that much. Um, and then the macaroni and cheese, which I thought that was really good. Um, it was nice and cheesy. The biscuit was really good, and then um, they gave me the peach preserves. They gave him the strawberry, but we switched because I like strawberry and he likes peach. And it was really good. It was homemade. It had like, um, the strawberries were just like mashed in it. So it was really good. My meal was good. I'm, I'm very full. Okay. Sorry I keep looking over there. I'm watching a basketball game. Over, <laughs> TV's over here in the ACC tournament zone. So um, I was watching <laughs> that while she was talking. Yeah, uh, like I said, we got there very close to closing time. Now, I was concerned about that because... You know, sometimes fried chicken and mashed potatoes, if they've sat for a while, you know, it, that late at night, you're not going to get a fresh batch. Uh, if they've sat for a while, it can be a little bit dried out. So I was kind of expecting that. Uh, to be honest with you, I was gonna, not going to hold it against them because, again, we got there late. Uh, I was very surprised. The chicken was still hot. It was the even the white meat portion, which is the worst for drying out, was very, very juicy and moist. Uh, pleasantly surprised. I think that's some of the best fried chicken you can get up here. Honestly, I've had it many times before. I was expecting it to be a little less quality tonight just because of the hour that we got there, but it really wasn't. It was good. Uh, the biscuit, I'll say this about the biscuit. Uh, I've grown up my whole life eating biscuits. That was one of the best biscuits I've ever had. Uh, very fluffy flavor. It just had a good flavor to it. That was a good biscuit. Um, and I can't say enough about it. That was one of the best I've had. The peach preserves were really good. The coleslaw wasn't crazy about. Um, the mashed potatoes and gravy I thought were, were good. I, I was fine with mine. So again, I know this was a quick review. We, uh, we were really hungry when we got here. Um, so we just wanted to grab something and do a quick review of it. Um, I know there's probably a lot better reviews of that place out there than what we did, but again, we were just trying to get done and get out of there, uh, before they closed. So anyway, I would highly recommend it. It's not just mm -hmm. a stone's throw up from our motel. Again, right across from Food City on Highway 321, just outside of Gatlinburg. Uh, and they also have a sub shop. Was it Joe and Pop's sub shop? Yeah, and I've so, gotten a sandwich there before, and they're good. Yeah, so if you don't want chicken, you got other options as well. Mm -hmm. So uh, anyway, that's our review. If you like this video, like and subscribe. And find us on Facebook. And we appreciate it. Have a blessed evening.